of the finale of our eight-week safari series, Journey Together. Here we have the roof going on to the hot dog selling mobile that Jamie Patterson will be driving. Jamie, what are you going to look for? Lions, excellent. We would like some lions, please. Please sell them a hot dog. And uh, Brent Leo Smith over here is currently in a very sort of um, existential personal crisis about whether or not to put his roof on. What do you think, Brent? I think we're going to chance it. You think it's not going to rain further? No, I think it's going to rain softly. Softly. And therefore you are not going to softly the whole time, says Brian, and therefore you are not going to put your roof on. There's always a possibility of wild dogs. Yes, there is always the possibility of wild dogs, and you will probably rip the roof off if there are wild, if there are wild dogs. Right, good. Okay, so that's the situation here. Let's see how the drone command is doing. This, of course, is not weather that's very good for drone flying because, well, drones don't like water, really. They're not boats, they're aeroplanes, and they're not so good with the water. So the car is set up and ready to go. Connor, uh, do you think you will fly today? Right, so basically, no, not at the moment. If it stops raining, yes, perhaps. Then our fearless commander, who has prepared himself in a startling array of floral clothing. Well done, Graham. Once again, camouflage. You can't see me. I cannot see you. That is you precise. Hear a, a voice. I just hear a voice. Yes, <laughs> yes, you are camouflaged. Good. Good Excellent. Morning, everybody. Don't forget the show. Yes, and don't forget the show. In an hour, at a. Well, yes, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, North America, Natrio Wild, Sunday evening. Yeah, that's all the things I need to say about that. And thank you to all of you for your kind greetings and hellos. Uh, please join us, of course, uh, in just over an hour, just under an hour, we will be going live. Uh, what are you going to find, Leo Smith? Oh, the planet. Uh, no, uh, that uh, was a startling, startling sort of sound. Hmm? You would f are looking for leopards, leopards first. first. But there was a report of wild dogs near our western boundary right. late yesterday evening. So we'll look for leopards. But if there is a dog, I will leave the cats in the dust. Yeah. Because you like dogs, not cats. Exactly. Right, good. Okay, so that's what's going on down here at the vehicles. Everyone is very excited. We are, of course, at the mercy of the elements. We have no choice, but of course we will go out regardless. It just might mean that there are a couple of changes and things. Good, so that's the vehicles. They're about to head out. I think it's going to stop raining myself. And we're going to head up to the final control and see how the ladies and men of the uh, Brains Centre, if you like, are doing now. Gail, you're wondering if we have mosquitoes here. Oh, yes, we have many mosquitoes. In fact, I have yet to see more mosquitoes than I have seen this year. Most of them live in my room. So hopefully they will not make an appearance on the show today. We did have a mosquito actually in the very first show. He made an appearance under the microscope. Uh, Gail, but weather like this is not... It's not very bad for mosquitoes, actually quite nice for mosquitoes because they don't like the cold and they don't like the wind. It does, of course, mean that they will, we will make puddles, or the rain will make puddles for them, and, well, then they will start to breed. Well, James, Richard, this is what we have been thinking as well. You say, hopefully, all of our favourite cat characters will be ready and waiting for TV. We hope that for there's a snake. Look over here. This looks like an egg eater to me. That is very cool. <laughs> Sherry, you say that's terrifying. Well, it's much more terrified, as you can see. It's doing its level best to get away from us. Well, nothing like a snake in the morning. Do you think that's a harbinger of good things to come or a harbinger of uh, terror? I don't know. Right, Valerie, you want to see everybody in FC. Well, here you go. You say your favourite ladies. I think that probably means that Peter Brandt sitting over there and um, Alex Voz, who's fast asleep, are chopped liver. Good morning, Alex. Could you type some script or something to make the rain go away? Here is Kirsten Max Smith. Kirsten, are you ready? I'm sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> Excellent. Rebecca is... Um, going to be performing in some sort of high school musical this morning. Uh, Geraldine, <laughs> Geraldine, uh, on you're on the phone, are you? No, everyone's abandoned me. On everyone's the abandoned you on the phone. And, um, well, this is sort of like being in a loop now because yeah. Louise is talking to me. It is rather Inception. Yes, that's very good. Well done. 
Deeper. I need to go deeper. Okay, and here we have Megan. Megan is um, checking social media. Are you, Megan? Not yet, I will. You will? Okay, good. What are you doing now? Uh, Calculus. Google. Just Google. No. You're just staring at a blank Google page. <laughs> I've just opened my... Well, I'm, very, I'm, very, I'm sure your investment in that machine is certainly well justified by staring at a blank Google page. <laughs> and, of course, let us not forget Jean-Dre, who is uh, on lights this morning. Well done, Jean-Dre. Excellent job. Thank you, ladies, and good luck. The commander is up to see what's going on here. We'll have one last look into the tech room where Stefan Winterboer, who has studiously avoided being on the Facebook Lives during the course of the whole show, has now been busted, putting his microphone on and readying himself for a damp walk. You've got a rain jacket, have you? No, you're just going to go with the waterproofness of your skin. Good. Excellent. Right, everybody, we are going to sign off now. We will be going live at 6 o'clock Central African time. That is 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the evening on Sunday. Nat Geo Wild in the continental United States. And we will see you then. <laughs>